So, two months ago, almost to the day, I released a video called Who is the WordPress Block Editor, editor slash Gutenberg, that whole thing. Who is it built for? And thank you guys so much for the support on that video. Um, honestly, truthfully, kind of changed the tra trajectory of this channel and, and kind of the things that, uh, that I want to do here. So again, I want to start off by saying thank you so much to everybody that supported that, everybody in WordPress, all that sort of stuff. I love WordPress. I want to see WordPress continue to grow. And I want to see it continue to be the dominant platform to build websites on the internet. I think if you're in, I've said this before, but if you're in this ecosystem, you're in this space, and you're not rooting for WordPress in all facets, like, you know, the, if you're, you know, even if you're an, like an elementary user, if you're not rooting for core, the core of WordPress, you have something illogically going on there with that argument or that mindset, because if that's like asking for your foundation of your house to crumble because that doesn't matter what you're building on we're building on wordpress right so you'd have to go somewhere else if wordpress core um in the project itself didn't there would be no elementor no bricks no divi if there was no wordpress so let's get that out of the way that being said uh i have consumed in that two month period since that that video a lot more content on WordPress core. I've connected with so many great people in this community. I've watched specific like talks of actual contributors. I'm in the Slack channel. If you're not in the making in the, the make WordPress Slack, go get in that to make sure you go look at that and try to contribute any way you can, or at least be up to speed on what's going on. Because, you know, I don't like to be a complainer necessarily when I when I'm not offering any solutions or, you know, if you're just shouting into the void, that's not that's not that's not helpful, right? So there's got to be you can't just complain. You have to also try to give back and give thoughts and stuff like that and try to do it in as productive a way as possible. That's partly kind of why I turned on the camera here. Um, I've watched content, like I said, really recently. I watched um, like specific builds of things, specific builds of websites with WordPress core, the block editor, and like, you know, other themes that are kind of layered on top of that. And I have to say that... The thesis for where I'm at right now in March of 2024, which again, I understand is not like it's not over, right? The, the projects aren't over. The, the, the evolution of this product isn't over and everything like that. It's, it's a work in progress. And again, I want to stress that the amount of respect and appreciation I have for everybody working on it. But I do want to comment on what I'm seeing because if we're not commenting on that, then I don't think that we're getting actual other perspective. The perspective that I have is like, the current state of WordPress core and the surrounding situations with like block themes, full site editing, everything like that, from a almost like a philosophical, it's where I tend to go with a lot of these things, from that perspective or that, you know, that frame of mind, it is the strangest dynamic that I've ever seen. Like when you factor in what's going on, like the actual software, the, the marketing behind the platform and the, the project and the push, and then you factor in who's actually like working on it and their thoughts and the, and the content that's being created around that it is the strangest thing I've ever I've ever seen I'm not saying it's bad I'm just saying it's extremely strange and I'll try to explain again my perspective and I would love to hear if you completely disagree with this or if you think that I'm crazy or whatever throw it in the comments I don't care I'm just giving you my thoughts so what I'm seeing is a lot of very 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 talented developers and people that are contributing to the project no doubt about it very talented Talent is one characteristic. The other one is extremely skilled at software development. Much, much more skilled at software development, development than I am. I don't know how to write PHP, okay? I can take some snippets and kind of figure it out, but I, I don't know how to write PHP. I don't know how to do, I don't know how to write React. I don't know any of that. I know HTML, I know CSS, I know a little bit of JavaScript, okay? And I've learned Java in college, okay? <laughs> like, I mean, barely, right? So, I come from a little bit of the background of like, we'll call it like just general basic software development in that realm, but that's not really where I'm, what my trade is, but I do appreciate the shit out of true software development because it is very difficult and it's the backbone that the internet and everything else runs off of. So we go back to the people. They're very talented. They're highly skilled at software development. They, you would think have that mindset of like strict like guidelines and code processes and we got people talking about like github and and like you know pulls and pushes and all this other stuff and like code uh version control and all that okay so let's just keep that there okay that is definitely not the majority of wordpress users i don't think okay let's just just put, put that over there because that's the people building it okay then we have a project 
that is the tagline is like democratizing, you know, publishing and uh, built for everyone, right? That's the, the mantra there. Okay, so then we have those people working at that for that initiative and WordPress starts to evolve from a, and, I'm, and again, I'm gonna preface this too, I've only been in this since like 2017, so I did, I'm not, I'm not you know, an OG, okay? I didn't know this in 2000 or whenever it came out, all right? Like, I did, like that wasn't me. But just in that time frame, it went from kind of like the classic editor and everything like that, a blogging platform, important thing to remember there, it's a, it was a blogging platform, and now we're building full sites on the thing, which again, I think is the right direction in a way, but we'll talk more about it. Okay, so now we're going in that direction. And we have these really skilled people, they're working on this initiative to, to make it for everyone. And we're taking a blogging platform, we're trying to make it like a Wix, Squarespace, everything like that. Again, I don't even disagree with the, with the initiative, the, the, the concepts there. But the marketing starts to, starts to throw just like another variable in there. So it's for everyone. Okay, got it. So now we have to somehow take this concept, morph it into a graphical user interface and like a and and controls on these different sidebars and all this stuff popping out to make it for everyone but at the same time we have like very again highly skilled technical developers in in operating in it controlling things that go completely against minimum at minimum naming conventions for software development like we're talking like rows, stacks, groups, you know what I mean? And it's like, again, interjection here. I came from Elementor. Elementor, I don't, I never had anything bad to say about Elementor, but I do have, I have critiques, but it treated me well. But I didn't feel like a developer. Like I didn't feel like an actual, like, like website. I felt like maybe a designer. I didn't feel like a developer. I didn't feel like I knew what was going on. And then I saw like bricks and I was like, wow, this is like actually like coding, but, but with a graphical user interface. Now, to compare that to the, what's happening currently in like the core full site editing and everything like that, there is just so much going on. So many things are named differently and it's just getting a bad rap. I'm not the person to tell you that I hate it or like it. I mean, again, I'm using bricks that you can kind of tell from there, but I'm not trying to be a guy that's shitting on Gutenberg WordPress core. I want the thing to do well and I'm trying to make more of a contribution on here and in the Slack groups and things like that. But it is very interesting to just kind of take a look back and see how it's it's all going. It's like, how could you, I'm just, conf the, the question that I would pose is like, if you're a software dev and you're in this platform, how are you not like, like I'm, I'm not even really a software dev, but I'm watching these videos and I'm like, why is that fucking thing called a group? Like that, that does that, that's just confusing. Like it's, it's not even like a right or wrong. It's just confusing. Like, cause here's the thing, here's the thing. If you're trying to make it for everyone, then okay, maybe they would understand that. But then where we're at in the trajectory of it, it's not even really like beginners. I don't even know if beginners can really even like fully use it to the extent. So you have like this, this, this window, right? This, 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 this window into designing websites that is supposed to be for everyone, but it's not really the way that an advanced user would want it. And then a, a, and then simple things are not really that simple for for st for beginners. All I'm saying is like we're we're kind of like I feel like it's almost recreating some standards and the standards are just weird. I don't I mean I just I, I guess I'd need to talk to more people that are in it even more often and maybe use it for myself and maybe just do live videos or whatever about it but I I'm just I'm just making this video cuz I'm still confused. And I know it's only been 2 months since I made the last video and know it's long time that there's there's still more to go and everything like that on this on this project and again I want to make it completely clear that I'm rooting for it and I'm not trying to criticize it and I'm trying to contribute to it but I I don't know how to contribute to it other than making these types of videos or like talking about this specifically in the 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 you know the Slack group and stuff because I can't really offer software development I'm not going to build the damn thing cuz that's not my skill set but I am, I am very, I feel like one of my, one of my skills that I can provide is like critical thinking and looking at this. It's like, who is going to want this? Like we have people like talking to actual DIYers and meetup groups and they say they don't want it. So if they don't want it, and then we have a lot of advanced users creating content around and everything like that on, on YouTube and they don't want it. 
almost sounds like it's not for anyone. I mean, obviously there's people that, that use it, right? And I'm not, I'm not, again, I'm not saying it's not for, it's not for, I'm not saying nobody uses it by any means, but I'm just saying like that, that whole mixture of all that confused me. And I love this because I love like trying to dig through the thick of these things and actually kind of get to the roots and see if there's any way that we can continue to, to move forward. And I know 100% that if we're still in the thick of the actual project, it only gets worse before it gets better. And I just, I don't know, I mean, the prop platform gets worse, but I mean, it, it, you have to get through these phases. But I'm not going to waste the opportunities to talk about these types of things because regardless of it's Gutenberg or anything else, like I think this is the normal trajectory of, of, of products and things like that. They're, it's not like a snap your finger. It's not the nature of software. It's never going to be perfect. I don't expect it to be perfect. But I do expect it to ha kind of have like, continue to think about the vision, you know, listen to people that are that are talking about it and stuff. And again, I think we're all rooting for it, regardless of what you use now. If if you could snap your fingers and everything could be in there and it all could all could work perfectly and, and be perfect. But I'm just seeing so many things and I'm just confused how like people can recommend I'm seeing like like actual like simple bugs and like weirdness. And again, it's not even bugs. Like again, I'm not I'm not saying all these these developers are making so many bugs. That's not what I mean. What I mean is like it's like you it's like user experience Confu like almost like confusion and that is leading to almost a weird I'm, I'm, I'm again I'm watching people that are in it all the time and they're and they're experiencing problems and it's like I'm I'm confused like I don't what like I'm not even in it I don't know um I have more thoughts I'm gonna talk more I'm gonna talk more on to other people and stuff like that as we continue to go if you like this video hit the like button if you want to subscribe to see more if you think I'm completely wrong and an asshole dislike the video and tell me why in the comments but I'm just, I'm not, I'm not on really on a team. I'm on team WordPress just in general. Okay. I want to see it continue to grow. And I'm just here taking it all in, talking to all sorts of different people and giving my thoughts. So I hope you appreciate that. Um, that's all I got. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you in the next one.